Mr. Dennis, can you tell us a story about the water supply that you have been that you have experienced in your own country? In Pescare, I would give the water supply experience in southwestern Uganda, Pescare Kanungu district, where I've worked as the district water officer. The water coverage is fairly okay, about to 78 percent. But the percentage remaining, they are completed in West water stress area. The areas, are, in terms of technology investment, they are really very hard. They need high technological options, which need pumping. Another way to go would be doing rainwater harvesting tanks. But uh, we have uh, now they had in Kanung they had a several number of gravity water flow schemes, of which. There are some problems to do with community management as far as the water user committees are concerned and regards to payment of water user fee. This fee is paid to make sure that the scheme can run sustainably. But it becomes very hard when the damages are beyond the capacity of the community what they would have collected. And you find that in the, in the district budget we don't have budget for O and M which can help to do emergency works in such schemes. You find that in a certain year budget the scheme breaks down, you have to spend it until the other year. That by the time you are going to repair, if you would have spent five million you end up spending ten million, which means thus increasing the cost of operation and maintenance within the schemes. Any recommendation from you? As a recommendation, I would recommend the government through the line ministry to increase on the budget for O and M because we have done a number of schemes, but now the problem is on the maintenance of those schemes. Yeah.